Bill Gowdy checking in. It's shotgun deer season right here in Illinois. Been very a uh, very good season so far, but the weather. <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to turn off bad tonight, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's uh, it's 46 right now, 46 degrees, uh, drizzly, yeah, damp. But I got see some fresh cube steak, deer cube steak. I cut up in little chunks. I got eight off meat tenderizer on it. I'm getting out the can cooker, and I'm going to use a camp made. I'm going to use a camp made, what I use it for, uh, I'm going to use this for a, a hobo stove. I'm going to put that camp cooker, I'm going to put that can cooker right on the top of that. Check it out. I'm going to try something new. Uh, this is the uh, camp made charcoal holder. I'm going to turn it upside down and use that as a, a, a stop so that I don't get my picnic table on fire. I hope that'll work. Calvin's Corner gave me this lighter. It's a, it's an opener, a lighter, and a, let's see, LED light, all in one. Thank you, Calvin. I'll put a link for him down below. Now, this is my uh, fresh, cubed up deer meat with some bacon. I just cut up some bacon. They're so darn lean. And I'm gonna, once that charcoal gets ready, I'm gonna put that can cooker on there. I'm gonna mix it with these vegetables right here. I got celery, onion, mushrooms. Uh oh, I'm gonna put zucchini in there too. And there's garlic. You know there's garlic in there. There's a whole head of garlic in there. But I wanna put some zucchini in there in place of the potatoes. Yeah, I forgot to put those in, but I will. While that charcoal's getting ready. Look at these, huh? Look at that. Camp made leather gloves. Excellent for working with hot stuff. This is my uh, cooker I got from Jack's Drink Water. It's just an awesome little setup, and it's real nice for one pot meal. Really, it's it doesn't matter. You can do this on the inside or the outside. It, it, it all it needs is a heat source. You don't taste any firewood or any charcoal or anything like that. So I'm just using the camp made charcoal. Look at that, huh? That camp made charcoal. I'm gonna use it as a heat source out of that. What I'm gonna call a hobo stove, but that's your, actually their charcoal chimney. I like it because it folds down. I sure hope I don't get rained out. It's drizzling right now. But you know what time it is. Time for some priority straightening. And this is just the vessel of amber fluid to do it. Look at this. Calvin's Corner, 72. Thank you, my friend. Can you see that? Yes. Nice. I'm telling you cover some territory today. <laughs> I sure did. Mm. I was up early. That is good, let me tell you. Alright, let's get to cooking, shall we? I think this will work out just fine. Set right on top of that. Oh, somebody's shooting off in the distance. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Okay, so here's my cubed up deer with some bacon. I just I had about, I don't know, three or four strips of bacon I'm putting in there because this is this deer is so lean. Now, this is a buck.
all good. Time for the secret ingredient. Uh, look at that. Thank you, Calvin. 12 ounces of the secret ingredient. A generous pour. I'm gonna let that come back to temperature before I put the rest of the stuff in. You know what? I might as well have one for me while I'm at it. What do you think? I'm thirsty. Oh, can you see in there? It's starting to, let's see if I can get in there. It's starting to boil already. That sure didn't take long. That's a good hot fire. That's an excellent hobo stove, I'm telling you. That charcoal is so hot. That's just how easy it is. I want to thank Jack's Drink Water. I'm telling you, this is just an awesome little setup. And I'm so darn hungry. Uh, a lot of people put a coin over that hole. Uh, and then the, the, what the deal is, is once that starts steaming hard, uh, I, I'm going to wait 30 minutes. Everything's already, already cooked in there. I probably could wait 20 minutes. But once that starts steaming hard, uh, it, that's when I start the timer. And uh, I think uh, since everything's cooked in there, I think I'm going to go 20 minutes. I don't want I don't want to pulverize those veggies, but I, I want them to soak up the juices. That secret elixir. I'm running out of daylight. I don't know if you can hear that. You can hear them trains a lot further away now. The leaves are gone. You can see the train lights. You sure can hear them. Now, there's a crossing right over there. Got to sound their horn for. I I don't know if you can see me or not. It's dark. It's long after sunset. Yeah. It's over 30 minutes after sunset. I'm still hearing shooting going on to the south. Somebody got them a deer down or they're just shooting after dark. <laughs> One way to unload your gun. Look at that steamy goodness. Fogging up my lands. You want to talk about, you want to talk about one-stop shopping. <laughs> oh man, everything I need is right in here. All my veggies, all my meat, oh, my garlic. I love, look at that, that's tender. The veggies are tender. See, oh, look at that meat. That meat is tender too. 
Oh, look. Mm -hmm. mm, wow. In lieu of potatoes. Mm -hmm. I put that zucchini in there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, look at that toadstool. I don't know. Can you see that steam? Oh, look at how hot that is. Mm. 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 It was just like a sponge. It soaked up all the juices, all the flavors. It is so good. It is so good. Look at this. Uh huh. That is a whole clove of garlic melt in your mouth. Goodness. Mm. Same thing with that. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> you know, talking with a mouthful. That is so tender. Man, that is good. I'd like to stay and talk. I'm awful tired. Got a big day tomorrow. Oh, I got so much stuff to do. Thank you for watching. Bill Gowdy out. Listen, almost forgot the length for Camp Maid, the length for Jack's drink water, the bearded hiker, and Calvin. Calvin's Corner, 72, a brother from another mother, is down below. Be sure to check them out and tell them Bill Gowdy sent you, if you haven't already. <laughs> They're popular channels. They really are. Bill Gowdy really out this time.